need some gas. driving like that when I need gas so bad. But anyways, we're about to find out how much it costs to fill up a tank in the M4. This is a 2020 BMW M4 competition F82, just in case you guys were wondering. And between the last fill up and this one currently, I specifically drove a certain type of way, that way we could get a good fill. I did a little bit of everything. Me normally, I usually drive not so economically, if you will. like takes away from the whole driving experience for me but anyways on this one I did actually use efficient mode um, a good amount I also traveled about 30 miles and back so you know there's a little bit of commuting in this trip I did some city driving I did some highway driving so you get a little taste of everything between my last fill up and this one here so let's go fill up real quick because I got 18 miles until we out of there and then we'll talk about how long it lasts me. We'll add it all up and see how much it costs per month on average maybe, you know, depending on how you drive. And obviously this all depends on how you drive as an individual. Could be more, could be less. And we'll add it all up, see how much it might cost on average filling this car up per month. And a few other things pertaining to gas. By the way, I'm sorry you guys have to look at my legs all the time when we do these POVs. I like wearing shorts, what could I say? Oh, for a lady. Oh, she over here skipping. So first things first, gotta go to the Shell station. If you guys didn't know, if you look right here, it says BMW M recommends Shell V Power. So that's what we're gonna put. The cost is four seventy nine nine a gallon, pretty much four point eight. <laughs> All right, so as you guys seen, $68.18. That's how much it costs to fill up the tank. 14.2 gallons, we got it pretty low. Now let's go park up, add everything up, and talk about what we need to talk about. So while we're on our way, I will say I usually get around 15 point something miles per gallon the way that I personally drive. I've heard that you could get it up to much more than that. So like I said, this is all subjective. It all depends on how you drive. So take these numbers that I talk about with a grain of salt. So I can't remember if I told you guys or not already, but this last tank lasted me about eight days. And that was, like I said, driving inefficient. I drove in Sport a little, I drove in Sport Plus a little. You know, I uh, commuted 30 miles one way, 30 miles back on the highway, did a little city driving. So it was a little bit of everything mixed in there, which is good for, you know, what we're talking about here. And that lasted me eight days. So normally you never know. Sometimes when I drive hard, it could last me two days. Sometimes it could last me four days, but I think if you're driving in efficient all the time, you know, I've heard of people getting the miles per gallon up to around 20 miles per gallon. That could last you, you know, if if I get 15 miles per gallon or so for how I drive, then that would probably get you almost close to two weeks. It would probably be around 10 days. So let's just say for me, if I could keep that type of driving up consistently, let's just say 30 divided by 8 is 3.75 times 68 equals 255. So I would be paying $255 
per month, which is not a cheap bill, you know? That's that's quite a quite a bit. I am in California. The gas prices aren't the cheapest here. As you've seen, it was like 4.8, I think. So depending on, you know, the gas prices where you live, could be more or less, probably less, since I am in California and I'm pretty sure we have the highest gas prices, unfortunately for me. But if I could get that to like, say 10 days or so, let's see. 30 divided by 10 obviously is three. So three times 68. So, I mean, I think if I drive good, I could get it to around $200 per month, which, you know, it isn't the worst, it isn't the best. I've heard much better numbers, but that's for, you know, myself living in California with the gas prices over here in this BMW M4, driving the way I drive. We do 200 times 12, that'd be $2,400 a year. So, you know, 250 times 12, $3,000 a year. So anywhere between two to $3,000 per year you could expect to pay in gas if you live in California, maybe a little less if you live outside of California. Obviously, driving in efficient all the time is gonna save you gas. Driving in sport, sport plus, hitting the gas all the time, not gonna save you gas. This is a manual transmission, so um, if you have an automatic, it could be a little different, you know? I have more control of what I do, obviously, so I could ride up the RPMs a little more than an automatic would probably, you know, it's probably more efficient, but I could also be more efficient as well. I could just shift really early and, you know, this thing actually will tell you, I'll show you guys right here. Check it out, she's a little two. I'll zoom in for you guys, see the three? It's telling me when to switch, see it down, this thing wants me to go fast. That's not very enjoyable, see it's already saying six. I don't know, if, if you guys know differently, um, tell me what that's actually saying, but I'm pretty sure that means like that's the gear I should be in for the most efficient gas mileage. I don't know, let me know. You see how it shows what gear you should be in, even though this is a manual. So it tells you like, if you wanna be efficient, it'll tell you what gear you should be in. And it says sixth, like pretty low, so. You know, if you wanna save some gas, you could do that. I didn't buy this car to save gas. I bought it to experience it in, you know, every way that I can. And for me, the driving experience is worth it. You know, they call it smiles per gallon. That's what I'm getting. Put the shorts down a little for you guys, you know? It might, um, you know, cost a little bit extra to do that, but you know, it is what it is. We pay to play. If you guys appreciate this content, subscribe to the channel for more content. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Appreciate you all. Till the next time, salute.